All right, all right. Welcome, folks. Today on F1 Motor Fever podcast, we've got a belter of a discussion revving up for you. We'll be diving under the bonnet of the recent British Grand Prix practice sessions, from Red Bull's cracking showing to Mercedes' unexpected wobbles, and a stone-related incident that left an Aston Martin racer shaking his fist at the sky. So strap in and hold on tight, because this is one ride you won't want to miss. I'm your host, Mon Clark, and I'm joined by my co-host, the ever-lively Yasmin Her. Cheers, Mon Clark. And folks, we've got a real treat for you today. We're joined by a true titan of the tarmac, former Grand Prix champion and motorsport expert, Harrison. Welcome, Harrison. Now, before we dive into the action, here's a fun trivia for our listeners. Did you know that the British Grand Prix, first held in 1926, was the first ever Grand Prix to be held in the UK? That's right, Mon Clark. It's an event with a rich history, and it's a privilege to be part of it. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of the recent practice sessions. Absolutely. Now, Red Bull had a smashing showing during Friday practice for the British Grand Prix. Max Verstappen set the fastest time in both FP1 and FP2. Can you walk us through that, Harrison? Of course, Mon Clark. Verstappen's ultimate benchmark was a 1 minute and 28.078 seconds, just two hundredths ahead of Ferrari's Carlos Sainz. Verstappen and his teammate, Sergio Perez, finished strong, indicating a solid performance for the upcoming race. Mercedes, though, seems to have had a rougher time, right? Yes, Yasmin Ha. George Russell and Lewis Hamilton finished 12th and 15th respectively. Hamilton mentioned that the car was difficult to drive, indicating some issues with the one-lap pace. Sorry, uncle, but what's a one-lap pace? That's a cracking question. Christina. A one-lap pace refers to how fast a car can complete a single lap on a race track. It's a measure of a car's speed and efficiency. Exactly, Mon Clark. Now, another noteworthy incident was during the FP2 when debris struck Lance Stroll's finger. Despite this, Stroll finished in the top six positions. Harrison, I heard a rumor that Ferrari is considering a major change in their team lineup. Is there any truth to this? Ah, uh, Yasminha, in the world of motorsports, rumors fly fast and furious. As of now, Ferrari hasn't confirmed any such changes. But I read somewhere that... Johnson, it's always crucial to rely on official information. Misinformation can lead to unnecessary speculation and confusion. That's a great point, Harrison. Now, let's talk about the weather. I heard there's a chance of rain for Saturday's sessions. Yes, Yasmin Ha. Changing weather conditions can indeed make the race more unpredictable and exciting. Fascinating. Now, here's another trivia for our listeners. Did you know that the Silverstone Circuit, where the British Grand Prix is held, served as an airfield during World War II? Really? I didn't know that. It's incredible, isn't it? Now, let's take a quick break, folks. When we return, Harrison will dive deeper into the performances of other teams. Stay tuned to F1 Motor Fever podcast. And remember, folks, don't go changing those gears. We'll be back in a flash. As we wrap up, I'd like to thank Harrison for joining us today and our beautiful audience for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share F1 Motor Fever podcast with your mates and family.